what's up everybody happy thursday hope all you're having a great day so far today getting into this episode gh listen I, at this point i really need for both jordan and portia to leave curtis alone i mean at the end of the day if i was jordan i would just go and tell portia i wouldn't give a damn what curtis said because curtis is a hypocrite like he's he was mad at both women for doing what he does which is lie like I said before, did he tell them anything about his business dealings with Miss Wu? And now on top of that, he expects his ex-wife to keep a secret that they kiss from his current wife. He's doing exactly what he's angry at them about. Lie. It's what you're mad at them for. And yet you're lying. Why not just tell her? And I think Jordan should. Because in my opinion, Jordan, don't owe, she don't owe her to shit at this point. She really don't owe him nothing. And I'm mad that she still got feelings for him. I mean, I get it. Feelings don't go away, you know, especially not overnight. It does take a lot of time. Sometimes you don't, you know, let go of your feelings for somebody. But I do feel like Jordan needs to move on. She deserved better. I feel like at this point, Portia deserved better. Like, yeah, Portia was messed up for keeping that lie for so long. But it's like, at some point, you got to forgive and let go. You know what I mean? Or if you're not, you just, need, you know, if you're not going to forgive, then let that person go. You know, and I think that's what Curtis need to do. Don't sit here and half ass commit yourself to this marriage, you know, because now he wants to sit here. Oh, I'm asleep in the guest room. I'm going to come back home and sleep in the guest room. See, that's the thing. He sat here talking about, oh, am I make, did I make a mistake by divorcing Jordan? You still got these feelings for Jordan and you still have this sense of regret about ending that marriage. But yet you want to come back home to your current wife. He playing games like he is playing games. And I feel like both of them don't deserve this. They really don't. Yeah, they made mistakes. Yes, they lie. But he gaslighting the shit out of both of them. <laughs> and I'm not a, I'm not here for that. Like they both are beautiful ass women, intelligent, great careers, great bodies. Like, come on now. Y'all mm, come on. You, they could do better than, than 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 that little bald head eagle. They could do better, do better. I feel like Curtis need to be by himself. Curtis need to be single. He need to figure his stuff out, figure out what he want out of life, out of a relationship, come to terms with that. He he got a lot he got a lot to to do within himself before he can be married to somebody. You know what I mean? Cuz he's so quick to walk away and you can't have a marriage like that. You really can't. And I feel like it's just best that he just go about his business and let them just find somebody that's going to cherish them and you know somebody that's willing to put the work in because marriage is is work you know for better or for worse that's what people don't take them vile serious no more like when they say for better or for worse you have to take that serious because for worse sometimes could be bad as hell and you have to overcome that you know find a way i feel like he has a right to be upset with lies that they told but he's taking it too far like he's taking it way too far you know, so I, I just think they could do better than him, honestly, because he, he halfway committing himself to that marriage. You know, you got one foot in, one foot out. He ain't even got one foot in. He got a pinky toe in and the rest of his feet are out. Like you can't be in a marriage like that. You just this is it's not going to work. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. <sighs> Nina. Nina, 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 Nina. I feel like every time I watch Nina nowadays, I just need an Advil. I just, <laughs> I need some Advil, some Tylenol, a bottle of Jack. Like, I try to root for her sometimes. I do. When I feel like she's right in a situation, I try to stick up for her. But I, I tell y'all this all the time. That delusional shit pops up out of her mouth. And that's what annoys me. Because she's so delusional. Once she start going into that delusional talk, that's where she loses me. And I'm just like, now nah, I can't root for you now. I can't. Because <laughs> she be acting simple. Like, everything she was saying today was just so dumb. It was like, oh, my God. She, she, I think what she does, she self-sabotages. She doesn't see when she's won. She doesn't see when she has the upper hand. She self-sabotages. I mean, you know you fucked up. If Ava Jerome is sitting here trying to talk you off the ledge, like Ava is pretty much telling her to let that go and she still won't listen. I'm like, you know what? 
A hard head makes a soft ass, so you know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make the motherfucker drink. So, since she done, Ava done try to lead her to the water, she don't want to drink. If I was Ava, I'll walk my ass away. I'll just let you, I'll let you rock. If you think this is the best course of action, and you think you're going to win something by doing this, I wish you well. <laughs> I wish you well. It's going to backfire, but I wish you well. Nina is setting herself up for a fall. Like, she doesn't realize when she's fucking won. Like, you got what you want. And it's still not good enough for her. Now she's sitting here, oh, I got to make Drew think that Carly's snitching on him. So he is snitching on her. I got to make the charges stick so I can have a clear path to Sonny. Ma'am. Ma'am. A clear path to Sonny. You, you, madam, you are wearing the man's ring. On your finger. You have him. What the fuck you mean you need to clear a path? You have the man. The path is clear, damn it. Land. Land the fucking jet. The path is clear. What do you mean? A clear a path. Like, what, what? What? You have him. He put a fucking ring on your finger. A ring that can, that can feed a small country. You're wearing it on your finger. A clear path to what? You have him. He's yours. He put a ring on your finger. He's not with Carly anymore. He's with you. What are you talking about? A clear path to what, woman? Damn. You got 40 acres and a mule and a little sunny. And that still ain't good enough for you? Good God almighty. Like... <laughs> I'm sorry for my rant, but damn. Golly. Ugh. Like, she's exhausting. I'm sorry, but Nina is just, whew, whew. I couldn't be no friends with somebody like, that. I don't know how Ava do it. <laughs> I don't know how Ava do it. Because she's a strong ass person to be friends with that. That is such a delusional bat. Like, how are you friends with her? Like, she is so exhausting. Like, oh, like, girl, you, you got everything you want. What do you, what, what do you, what else could you, What? Like, what else do you need? Like, I'm at this point, when Sonny find out all of this, I don't blame him for dropping her because he going to he gonna drop her like yesterday's trash. And it's all, and, and I bet you, I bet you when that happens, she going to find a way to blame Carly again. That's her problem. She keep blaming Carly for everything, even shit that's not even on her. Oh, you know, I could finally have a relationship with my daughter. What the fuck does that have to do with Carly? Carly is not the reason Willow hates your ass. Like, why do they keep having these same-ass conversations? Like, she already acknowledged that the relationship between her and Willow were, was already fragile before Carly even jumped into it. So, it's like, at the end of the day, Carly is not the reason you don't have a relationship with your child. You're the damn reason. You were awful to that girl the first day you met her. Awful. Terrible. Like, Nina went out of her way to antagonize this girl. And you wonder why she don't like you? It has nothing to do with Carly. Get that through your damn blonde head. It ain't got nothing to do with her, woman. It's you. I can't stand when she have that delusional talk. Like, good God. I At this point, I can't defend her at this point. Like, girl, rock on. You want to take her down? That's on you. Like, I'm more for Carly and Nina going back and forth. But just make it make sense, though. Like, if you're going to fight with somebody or not like somebody, make that shit make sense. I'm just saying, like, call them out for some shit that they actually said or did. Like... <laughs> Don't be just Nina that type of person she makes shit up in her head and think that it's true. <laughs> like she just act like she got 50 million people in her head telling her, uh-huh, she did say that. No, she didn't. Don't listen to them little voices in your head because they lying. They trying to gas you. No, no, mm -mm, no, ma'am. Nope. Nina needs a good therapist. Where's Kevin Collins when you need him? Because she needs psychotherapy. Something is something just she's just ticky ticky boom up here. Like it's just not good. Like, I'm sorry, I you know it's a cold day in hell when I got to root for Carly on this one because I wouldn't want her to be no step-parent to my child. I'm just saying, I wouldn't trust you around a dog. <laughs> just... <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Sonny, you, you need to rethink this engagement, good bro. 
<laughs> you need to rethink it. <laughs> Would you trust her around your children? I, I'm just saying with that delusional talk, it's like, it's some days where Nina is talking like a sane person. And then she got her days where she talked like this. And it's just, mm -mm, no man. Mm. Even Ava was looking at her like, I'm not coming back over here again. <laughs> Ava had that look on her face like, yeah, I'm not trusting my child around you. Mm -mm. I don't even want to come. I don't even want to come around you no more. Like, no, <laughs> no, uh, uh, um. But you know what? Let her be delusional. That's what she want to be. Let her be. So anyway, moving on from that. Speaking of Sonny and Carly, I like the loyalty between them. I really do because when the chips are down, that's when they come together. You know, and I love it. I don't get me wrong. I don't ever want to see Sonny and Carly back together in a romantic setting. I never. I I don't ever want to see them get back together again. I think that shit needs to be sailed, sunk, dunked, everything. It need to be done. Them being cordial or them being friends, I could take. I could do that because they've been through a lot in their twenty plus year history. They've been through a lot, so. I, I, I'd love to still see them be loyal. Like, Sonny didn't hesitate. Like, he was willing to go to prison for Carly. He did not hesitate. He said, listen, if you got to turn me in, turn me in. Because he'd rather be in prison than to see her there. You know? He'd rather be there than her. I, I respect that. I really do. I know some people might say he crazy. And he might be crazy. You never know. But that's love and loyalty. Like, they've been through so much. You know, and they still have that love and loyalty. And Carly was like, nope, I'm not turning on you and I'm not turning on Drew. I'll find another way. I respect the hell out of that. I really do. I respect it. Um, She need to stop thinking Ned did that shit, though, because Ned ain't got nothing to do with that. Little do she know. And I feel like she ain't got no proof that he ain't, that he did it. You know, she just going off of what she think. But at the end of the day, it's like. It doesn't really matter who turned her in at this point. She just got to figure out how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she got to do some prison time, you got to do some prison time. Even though I doubt it's going to come to that. But if it did, it's like, what else you going to do? How else you going to You got one of the best attorneys pretty much giving you grim options. Like, that's not good. I think Diane, if she worked really, really hard on this, I think Diane could strike up something. Like, she might be able to get Carly less time if she is convicted. Um... But even the best of the best attorneys sometimes can't guarantee you a win all the time. All they can do is work their ass off to try to get you a lesser, you know, a lesser sentence, at least if you do lose. Like she could try to, you know, finagle it to where, you know, you ain't facing no 10, 20 year prison bid. But hopefully, you know, Carly going to find a way. I think she will. Because Carly, I don't see her going to no prison. I really don't. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. It's always good to see Aunt Stella. It's always good. Um, I like the advice and stuff that she gave to TJ. Because at the end of the day, as men, a woman could tell us what's going on with them physically and stuff like that. But as men, we 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 get it, but we don't. It's because we're not the ones dealing with it. You know, we don't have to deal with a lot of the stuff women deal with with their bodies. Because our bodies don't do that. You know, the stuff that women's bodies do, of course. So it's like we'll understand to an extent, but we'll never fully understand. We could sit here and say, oh, I understand. No, no, you don't. No, you don't, because you, you're never going to have to deal with what that woman dealing with, the physical stuff that she dealing with. You know what I'm saying? So if we say we understand, we're basically just saying that to console you. Like we're basically lying in a way to you know console you because we're never going to fully understand because we're not going through it. We can't go through it. We never will go through it. That's just obviously we're opposite sex. Our bodies are different than yours. Um, so I feel like all TJ can do is just be there for her like he's been trying to, you know, and just keep, you know, putting that positive energy in her and keep trying to, you know, let her know, like, there's still hope at the end of the tunnel. We still have options. We're not down and out. You know, we're not down for the count. That's all he can do, you know, and keep trying to reassure her and be there, you know, keep showing up when she needs you to show up, even on days where she just want to be quiet or she just want to cry you ain't got to say a word just sit right there hug her and let her cry that's being there for her you know without saying a damn word sometimes that's what people need you know just to let it out and you not to say nothing you know what i'm saying so i think that's what he he should continue to do um hopefully on stella don't get into the mess that's involving trina jordan and portia because i could definitely get a sense that she's gonna get involved 
And I think it's best that she just sit this one out. You know, let these grown folk handle their own marital issues and their own relationship stuff. Let them handle that. You know, she just need to stay on about of that because I don't think it's going to go well if she insert herself. Like, I think Stella just need to let them folk handle it themselves. Um, if they want to talk, let them talk. So anyway, moving on from that, I love seeing all the Davis women together, even though two of them are played by different people. <laughs> I love seeing them together. I'm starting to get used to the new actress, you know, playing uh, Molly, even though it's her first day. I'm getting used to her. I kind of like her. Kate Mancy, you know, I'm, I'm getting near with her. You know, it's just when I know some people be like, how is it so hard for y'all to, you know, see new actresses play? Because you're so used to the ones that's been there for so long. You know what I'm saying? You get so used to seeing them and then you see, you know, different people playing. So it's kind of like, oh, shit, I got to get used to you. <laughs> but I like them, though. I think they're doing a good job. Um, I totally get where Molly coming from because it is a crushing blow. But she got to keep the faith. She got to keep hope. Like one day you will possibly get pregnant. All is not lost. You know what I'm saying? There's new treatments out here all the time. There's new technology in the medical field all the time. There's a lot of new advancements in modern medicine that can help you have a child. It's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? But for her, that's the way she's seeing it. Like she's not going to have anything, you know, traditional to having a child, but she's going to have a child one day. You know, when the time is right, when it's ready, you're going to, you know, keep talking to your doctor, keep doing what you do. Um, and I'm glad, you know, that she has that support system and not only TJ, but she has it with her mom and her sisters. Um, and I'm glad that Christina, you know, took a moment to gather herself to realize that Sam was right about a lot of the stuff she was saying. You know, she might have came off a little, you know, wrong in how she said it, but she was right about what she said. Christina has to take a step back and look at this. You know what I'm saying? Go through the proper channels. Like, don't worry about graphic designs and all that type of stuff right now. Focus on getting you an accountant. Focus on getting the business part of it first. You know, get that down pat first. Get the funding down pat first. You know, get all that stuff down first before you start looking into multi-million dollar renovations and all, you know, an expensive renovation or graphic designs. That's That should come a little later. Get everything else done first. You know what I'm saying? Get a proposal so you can get some rich donors to cough up a check. You know what I mean? Focus on the, on, you know, on the, co you know, the cosmetic stuff. Focus on that later. Get get the business stuff down first. You know, that's how you make it a success first. You know, you can't skip parts. You got to step by step. You can't skip those steps, you know. So I'm glad that she understands where Sam was coming from. You know, she, Sam was coming from a good place. You know, it may have came out a little too strong and too cold, but she came, you know, she came from a loving place because she wants to see Christina succeed. Um, and I love the idea that Christina has and I want to see it grow. I want to see it become major because if she makes this major in Port Charles, she can open up more in different areas, even go international with it. This could be huge. You know, it can help a lot of people across the world if she does it right the first, you know, go round. So anyway, that's pretty much the whole uh, episode. Um, hope you all have a great day. Hit the comments. Let me know what you all thought. And I'll see you all later. Peace.